An Airbus A320 is on the downwind leg of a visual approach to Paphos's runway 29. The aircraft has the autopilot on at the moment and they have just been cleared to descend down to 1,500 feet as they start to prepare to turn their base leg. Autopilot is currently engaged and the pilots are using the track FPA mode so they can see the bird on the primary flight display and the flight path angle. Having been cleared down to 1,500 feet, the pilots pull the altitude selector which puts the aircraft into open descent mode. The aircraft is passing through about 3,500 feet as they get a beam the runway threshold and start the timer, continuing their descent down. The timer reaches about 42 seconds, which is the point where they have calculated they are going to need to start to turn for their base leg. At this point then, the first officer disconnects the autopilot to fly manually. However, the usual calls of autopilot off and as they are in track FPA mode, also the call flight directors off was omitted. This means that the flight director path in the aircraft is still active. As the FMA is saying that the aircraft is in open descent mode, this also tells the auto thrust that it should be at thrust idle. As the base turn begins, this is usually the point where the gear comes down and flaps 2 are selected. The gear coming down obviously adds drag to the aircraft and with the flaps 2 ballooning effect, the rate of descent may level off just for a period as the aircraft gets that little bit of extra lift. So with extra drag and the nose pitching up slightly, our aircraft is still in thrust idle mode. Meaning, of course, that the engines are idling and the speed now starts to drop. The first officer notices this speed decreasing and the captain asks him if he wants flaps 3, to which the first officer replies yes. What happened next was the aircraft eventually slowed down to 2 knots below VLS, the lowest selectable speed, and then alpha protection kicked in with alpha floor being activated and the autothrust then applying automatic toga thrust. The first officer calls alpha floor and a few seconds later he realizes that he has now lost situational awareness and hands over the controls back to the captain. The aircraft was then put into a recoverable position and the captain performed an ILS approach to runway 29 landing safely a few minutes later. So in this video we are going to take a look at exactly why this happened. It's not about assigning blame to the pilots, but more let's learn what are the intricacies of the autothrust system in the Airbus A320 that can cause this to happen. The main reason for this is because when your aircraft flight directors are telling the autothrust that is, it wants to descend, the autothrust will automatically command thrust idle. Of course, the aircraft's going down, it wants to reduce thrust as much as possible. No point accelerating down towards your target altitude. So the pilots had been cleared down to 1,500 feet. They were on the downwind leg and the pilots could see Paphos just off to their left as they were flying over the sea. At this point then they wanted to fly this approach in track FPA mode so they can see the bird on the primary flight display and they could see then on the FMAs here we have thrust idle, open descent and track. As they pass the runway threshold, a beam it, they started the timer as you would do for this kind of approach. And then as they got towards the point where they were about to turn for base, this is the point where the flying pilot, the first officer, turned off the autopilot. The key mistake really here was also not turning off the flight directors. You don't fly in track FPA mode with no autopilot and have the flight directors on. These were both left on, so the auto thrust is still following the flight directors, which are set to descend the aircraft down to 1,500 feet. So as it's descending, auto thrust commands thrust idle. The base turn then arrives and the pilot just momentarily levels off for a few seconds and deploys flaps too, which of course increases the drag 
Thrust Idle is still being selected and watch what happens to the speed. Of course, we have got no power from the engines, the aircraft is now flying level and we've got extra drag from the flaps. It's not long before Alpha Floor is activated and we get Toga Lock. Now, you might be sat there thinking, but the auto thrust is on. Surely it should be targeting the speed that you have told the aircraft you want to fly at, whether this be a selected speed or a characteristic speed, the F speed, the final approach speed, etc. Well, yes, that is what you want, but that's not going to happen in thrust idle mode. That only happens in speed mode. And to force the auto thrust into speed mode, what the pilot should have done after turning off the autopilot was also to turn off the flight directors. Both flight directors need to be turned off flight directors 1 and flight director 2. This puts the aircraft into speed mode as you can see here on the FMAs and it will now target whatever speed you have told the aircraft to target. Now the crew was saved by the Airbus's protection systems but that isn't always available. On a live stream flight I was doing recently into Jersey we had a failure of the aircraft which downgraded the aircraft and put us into alternate law. The protection systems in alternate law are lost therefore when I had a similar problem happen and the aircraft was still in thrust idle and I had leveled off to try and solve the issue that I had got, my speed dropped, I hadn't got the protections enabled and so we heard stall, stall. Thankfully of course this is rare but there is another time where forcing your aircraft into speed mode is very important. Let's imagine now that we are on descent to flight level 40. We are of course at thrust idle in open descent mode and in a busy airspace we get a TCAS RA. That means we disconnect the autopilot and if the TCAS is telling us to climb, well that's what we do. We would climb and safely put the VS needle into the green band but we are still in thrust idle because the flight directors are commanding us to go down to flight level 40. Thrust idle, I've pitched up so what happens to the speed? Of course the speed drops and we get the resulting alpha protections kick in and toga lock. The correct way to react if you get a TCAS RA is once you disconnect the autopilot you also turn off both flight directors and this forces your auto thrust into speed mode so it will target the speed that you've got selected meaning that if I now pitch up to climb as per my TCAS RA you will see the auto thrust spools up the engines to maintain the target speed. So guys, a very different kind of video from me today, but I really do hope you have enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have or not in the comments down below. Love to hear what you have to say regarding uh, this particular video and the nuances around the auto thrust. Hopefully it will help you on your piloting journey in the simulator, making sure that you don't fall foul of this particular nuance of the Airbus auto thrust system. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please do leave a like. You can, of course, if you wish, support us further with super thanks across all the videos on the channel. And if you are watching us for the very first time and have enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos and, of course, our live streamed content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye for now.